we can add option from here we can add raju let us see yes raju is added now now let us say king uh, add the option you can see the king option is added one more we'll add queen add option queen is added let us copy the code from here it is our jquery basic structure and uh, use this in our notepad so now it is ready we'll add the html code to this put type is equal to text id is equal to t1 now next we'll add a button button id is equal to b1 now here we'll write copy now we we'll let us add the drop down list box select id is equal to our student now option well value is equal to raju let us display it as raju option will close copy paste it here now this will be ron will make it we'll go with two options then subsequently we'll add that now let us close the select button now let us come to the jquery part we'll add the selector first selector is our button mm, button first and uh, in button we'll use the click function click function of this let us close this here now inside the button click function we will create a variable to add to add holds the value for uh, whatever we entered in our t1 or text box so this id we are used now this let us collect the value so whatever we entered in t1 will be collected in our variable so now let us go to our uh, drop down list this id is student we have accessed it now we'll add append append is a function now option value is equal to let us start with a plus now the variable to add plus no single quote now here also we'll close the string and display again to add the value plus we have to careful about the opening and closing of the string otherwise we'll end up in error option fine hopefully this is correct now let us now what you will do once the value is copied to the drop down list what will make the text box empty so this will make our text box empty because data is already shifted there now one more thing we'll do we'll make the whatever data we have added now we will keep it as default selection value to add is our default selection and this will add it i think this is all our code now let us save this go here refresh it yes we have two options in our drop down let us add one more king yes the king has come here now three now let us add one more queen copy queen is selected and it is added here like that any number of options we can you can see we will select one option and remove it we can select one more remove select this and remove the last one also we can select and remove we'll see how to remove the selected options to do this we'll slightly change our uh, uh, our html code we'll add few more uh, options now let us add king here and display it also here now few more options this we'll try to remove queen let us queen also here now in this uh, we don't require a text box now let's remove the text box button will shift to right now 
and write a word remove okay now coming to our this code will change completely because now we'll keep the b1 click function or button click function now let us add a few line of code here now we'll select one variable or create one variable to remove now this variable will collect the selected option of the drop down list box now our student is our drop down list box id dot vl val is our selection now our variable to remove holds the value what you have selected or you want to remove now let us keep the code student now sorry we will not use this uh, inside this we will use option then value is equal to we, we here we will add the string now to remove here plus to remove remove is our variable now let us close the string properly then we will close our selector now let us uh, let us close this part we have closed this come out and after this we will let us give one selection let us give here also double quote so it will match fine now we will use this remove remove is our function to remove the details from here started here now to remove we have uh, given this fine this should work now let us save this go here refresh now we have seen uh, let us select run remove ok run is removed now let us select queen remove queen is removed now let us select king remove now what is left is raju we can remove it now or we can refresh it again bring it to original state and go on removing now we may be thinking why not uh, in one button click we'll remove all the options we'll try that now we'll try to remove all the options by click of a button now you see we have removed all the options now we can try by refreshing it again so all the options will come again and we will remove it right we will slightly change the html part here we will add a multiple selection so the height will be more so we can clearly see the changes now let us go to our uh, inside our click function of the button we will remove all the code from here and we will add a simple selector for the student id is equal to student mpty now it, this uh, b1 click function this will remove it let us save this go to our new refresh it ok we have because changed it so now all are visible now let us click the remove you can see all have gone now you can refresh all have come again remove so all in one go we are removing now 